No. Hey, welcome back to LC's Comic Corner. It's been a while, and a while being half a year. Um, I'm your host, LC Comics, aka Luke. That sounded very as natural. Always, well done. Is my wonderful and inferior co-host. Let me go over that again. Okay. Introduce yourselves. What's good, guys? Uh, my name is Harry. Why are you going second? What? Huh? Why am I? I'm going first because I'm better. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, right. Shit. Thank you. Well, yeah. that brings us into our topic versus you two fight anyway. <laughs> but first, introduce yourselves. Uh, well, I'll just introduce myself. Uh, my name, my name is Harry, also known as Mr. Rand Comics. My my channel's sort of um, in this weird state of limbo at the moment. I don't know if I'm going to bring it back or just let it die. So um, you can go check that out in the link in the description if you like. Harrison, your channel is am... officially dead, so um, you can talk about that <laughs> one. I am Harrison or Harry Mark Two or Superhero. My channel is also dead. Oh shit! That's not where I thought he was going with that. How <laughs> really? But let's just continue. I died a long time ago. You know, I'm just a ghost. Yep, no, it's good to it's good to speak That's to me. you. It's nice, uh, nice, yeah. nice to hear from you. I also well, like DC. Oh yeah, well there you go. I'm wearing black clothes. You know. uh, well there you go. Oh, I'm oh, just gonna, well, I'm just gonna leave that there. All right, <laughs> let's just not touch that. Yeah. Uh, let's just, let's just move on. Um, so you know, it's been a while. If anyone here is listening who actually listens to all the episodes, well done. Uh, you may have noticed there hasn't been a new episode for. I think it's over six months now. Almost there. Which is holy shit. And I just want to say it's all Harry's fault. Yeah, Harrison, what are you so, actually doing? Oh damn. Yeah, it's just all ha- one of the Harry's fault. I'm not going to name names. God damn except weeb. the name Harry. Uh, but yeah, how's how's everyone been? Let's just act natural. <laughs> yeah, I was good until uh, I came back from retirement. Well, there you go. Yeah, oh, I, I feel pretty much the same way to be honest. Doesn't feel good. Yeah. To be back. <laughs> Doesn't feel good to be back. Yeah, well, we're here, so we're here, you know so we might well make the most of it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, is there anything anyone wanted to say, or should we just dive right into I it? I want to dive right into it. I feel like the best way of getting back on the boat is by jumping off the boat and diving into it. He clearly wants oh. to be here. I really <laughs> want to be. Here. <laughs> we definitely haven't forced him to be here right now. That's no. not. We wouldn't do that. That's just that's just horrible. Why I would have you do absolutely that? no guns to my head right now. Oof. So, um, if, if you may have heard my screaming earlier in the episode, we are doing a versus episode as our combat. One of the most basic things you can do. We are, um, of course, basic bitches. Of the most basic. It's one of our defining features. Exist. Exactly. Yeah. All of us. All, all together, we are. We make up one basic bitch. Absolutely. So we're each a third of a basic bitch. I'm basic. Uh, your beer and Harrison's. Oh shit! Why do you get a whole word? Fuck you! <laughs> I'm just easy. It's good. Oh damn. Okay. Well, um, in in the spirit of the ongoing um, story arc in Deathstroke at the moment, uh, Batman versus Deathstroke, we thought we'd do a versus episode where we discuss. You know, we've we got some listener, um, some some listener input on some of these. Some of them we've made up ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, just to you know, we can discuss who we think would win in in a fight with with these things. So let's let's go on to the first one. The first one here, my suggestion. Okay. Rob Liefeld versus Feet. Who wins? Right. Well, this this is this is just a stupid one because we all know Feet would win. Feet has won <laughs> Feet. many times in the past. Uh, Feet are the obvious winner. Oh, yes. Who Who's Feet? No. No. Oh no. shit. No. Oh shit. No. 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 Um, I Rob actually Deadpool, but... just to mention this, and Harrison, you haven't even seen the film yet, so just cover your ears for one moment. Is this I love like... Deadpool I Two, yeah. De- De- I love how Deadpool Two touches on this. Did you get the joke? Oh, from Deadpool Two. The, the joke. I w- I was so embarrassed, right? Because I was the only person who laughed. He Me goes, too. Um, Me too. The joke about yeah, yeah. The joke it's about probably um, someone who like... can't draw feet. Yeah, yeah, he says like, oh, um, who would come up with that superpower? Yeah, just someone who can't draw feet, and I went. I was like, ha, 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 and then I look around, and I'm like, I'm only one laughed at that, and yeah. that was really loud. You know what? You know what those people are, Luke? They're fake fans. That's what fake they are. Fake fans, exactly. That's what they are. If, if you didn't them. laugh at that joke in Deadpool 2, you're a fake fan. Sorry, mate. You are indeed a fake fan. Anyway, um, Harry, Harrison, you can uncover your ears. I don't know how he's going to be able to hear I us. never did cover my ears. <laughs> oh, shit. I have earphones in. I don't know oh, how damn. that was. He did okay. actually say he couldn't cover his ears. I covered my ears, but my him, earphones so. were on underneath, so it didn't really work. Well, there you go. Right. 
anyway, well, on to the feet one, and we'll continue feet, to win for feet all eternity. Win. Uh, wait, Harrison, do you do you get the whole Rob Liefeld feet thing? I'm guessing Rob can't draw feet. Look there at, we go. Yeah, look Perfect. at any cover, and you you you'll see that. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's fighting himself. Well, um, so the the first uh, here's the first actual one. Basically, this is a listener suggestion okay. from um, Coca Joe Long. Right. He says uh, the leader, uh, the leader versus Lex Luthor. <laughs> just the give them the same. Just give them the same resources and see who masterminds a better plan. I like this one. I like this one. Um, I think it's it's interesting because it's not just the basic. Or oh, who's stronger? No, it's like it's, who's smarter? This is like a C list villain versus an A list villain as well, though. Mm. And you can't think... just judge them on popularity because I I think the leader might actually be more intelligent. Yeah. Than Lex so Luthor. so who's everyone going with? Because okay, you know... well I, I'll go with her to first and say the leader, not just because he's Marvel, but I do have reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, Harrison, who are you going with? Lex Luthor. I'm going go Lex Luthor because I haven't got much. Of okay. The well, I'm um I'm on Harry's side actually. I think the leader would win. Well, the, um, the thing which I think hits it there for me is the same resources, okay? And uh-huh. I feel like Lex Luthor manages to do a lot of what he can do for the same reason that Batman can, because he has a lot at his fingertips. Mm-hmm. Like, he's rich and he can use that power to sort of... Because he's super intelligent, of course, yeah. but he's also super rich, so he can realise these ideas. And and the thing is, the leader is artificially intelligent, like exactly. higher than, than than should be like possible. I think the leader is more intelligent, and with the same amount of resources, I think that the leader could defeat Lex Luthor. Mm-hmm. So Harry, how are you coming, Harrison? How are you, how are you coming back from there? Okay, so Lex Luthor is one of the greatest tacticians in all of DC, right. other than Deathstroke, Batman, okay. and all that. And as as Lex Luthor has had plans, how, to how many like... greatest tacticians does DC have? Oh, he's the greatest Dude. tactician in DC, apart from all okay. the other greatest tacticians. Don't worry about. He's it. not number one. <laughs> Let's just go with that. All right. Okay. And he he had made a plan to beat Superman, who's an alien from another planet, so he's not even from Earth. Technically, so the, he's okay. he's full of a plan to defeat Superman. And he's made a suit, so I feel like if you give him enough time, he but, could probably think of a also, weapon. The leader has a big head. Yeah, he could so, headbutt Lex Luthor. Wait, like, let's yeah, say his, these same resources his plan, were a his whole plan is you know? just headbutt him. Yeah, <laughs> that's literally it. Got some super ultra like EMP and shut him down. Exactly. He's art. He's like a machine, isn't he? An artificial, mm. so he could easily cut him down. He's no, Who, no, 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 no. He's not though. He's still organic. Yeah, the leader. He's got gamma gamma radiation, the same as same as. Uh, oh, he just Hulk. Shoot. So if anything, he can just give Lex Luthor cancer. Could he just throw like a <laughs> dart? He could just get a dart and throw it at a leader. He'll probably pop. Uh, right. What? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I I I think it, if it's two against one, then leader wins. Yeah, I, I leader yeah. wins. Then I is that how we're doing this? Then I the I think if both wins. of us agree and after we've made our points, no one changes their mind, then the most yeah. popular vote wins. Cool. All right. Well, the next one is um, another me suggestion. Okay. Um, the Green Lantern Corps the versus core. the Nova Corps. Okay. I mean, that's a pretty easy one, let's be honest. All right. Yeah. Green Lantern Corps. Easy. Green Lantern Corps. I mean, yeah, no okay, cool. I'm glad well. we were agreeing on that. Yeah. <laughs> we could just skip over that one. Yeah, I can't even quickly. pretend to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, next up is uh, it's another listener suggestion. Okay. Um, this is from Neptune Plays. He says Deadpool versus Ninjak uh, in the best goddamn roast battle in the universe. <laughs> so basically, they're just spitting insults at each other um, and, and seeing who wins. So, so who's who's going for what? In the... I mean, Deadpool wins. Uh-huh. Come on, nobody nobody can roast someone like Deadpool. Deadpool once got the Infinity Gauntlet and only used it to bring the entire Marvel universe together so that they could roast him. I mean, <laughs> guys are pro. Come All right, on, Deadpool. Right. Are you going with Deadpool? Wait, are you going with Deadpool, Harrison? Yeah, sorry. I would, nin- uh, yeah, I no, that. I'm also going with Deadpool. I, <laughs> I would mean, have said like, Ninja. If, if it that. was, a, I mean, like Ninja snarky. Yeah, like, he's, it feels like he's a snark witty, thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Deadpool but prides Deadpool's himself like, on roasting yeah. both himself and other people. You could throw anything you want at Deadpool. And Deadpool would just turn it around and just sort of go, look at my balls. <laughs> <laughs> look at my... Yeah, that's that's instantly... Deadpool just instantly wins because everything Ninja says is, look at my balls. Hey, hey. Exactly. I, I can't see any way of Ninjak winning that. 
Because Ninjak couldn't even get frustrated and cut off his head because he'd keep talking. That's yeah. the thing. Even in a physical fight, Deadpool would like still be able to roast him, even if he didn't win, regardless. So, yeah. I, I think Deadpool's come out on top there. Uh, it's it's disappointing be. to say, but yeah, uh, De- Deadpool has that one, for sure. The Merc with the Mouth. So, yeah. so we, we, we all ready to move on? I'm, I'm ready to move on. Next up, from some guy called Mr. Rand Comics. Never heard of him before. What Seems a like a twat. He died. Um, said Killer Croc versus Luke Cage. I want to hear your guys' opinions on this first. Okay, well, I'm... Uh, no, I want to let Harrison go. All right, my opi- so, Batman can beat Killer Croc with his fists with well, an extra uh-huh. with uh, padding. But if Luke Cage is like pretty much made of steel, he could probably snap Killer Croc. Like, Killer Croc's strong. But, so, so you're Luke, going with Luke Cage? Yeah. Easy. Um, I like Killer Croc, but... I think it all depends on... I don't he know a break. huge amount about Killer Croc, I'm, right? How I'm going to go break on his body. I'm going to play devil's advocate and say Killer Croc. Okay. Um, did I use that term right? I think I used that term right. God knows. Move on. Let's just, <laughs> let's just pretend I did. Yeah. Um, how unbreakable is Luke Cage's skin? That's the question. Right. Well, I mean, it's bulletproof. So that's a pretty, like, bulletproof okay. without leaving dents in the skin. So but, do you think that, uh, I mean, does Killer Croc bite people? I'm assuming he does. Yeah. Ca- he are his walk. teeth more powerful than bullets? No, I feel like, you know. His teeth would break. <laughs> Luke Cage may be bulletproof, but is he tearproof? Like, yeah. if, if Killer Croc was to rip, try and rip him in half... No, you see, th- where I think it comes down to here, okay, is who's actually stronger. Because Luke Cage can be mm-hmm. knocked unconscious, okay? Croc's... I like, think, the yeah, outside, Killer, Croc, Killer Croc could slug him. Like, that's the only way he's getting the advantage, but would, from what, what, then what on... Killer Croc's strong, strength level, though? Because Luke Cage is super strong. Uh, but is I would say, honestly... But Luke, Luke is Cage isn't yeah, that strong. Like, Luke Cage is about Captain America level strong. No, he's, he's stronger than Captain America. He's superhumanly strong. Captain America isn't superhuman strong. Uh... I'd, I'd say that um, Luke Cage is probably slightly less strong than She-Hulk. Okay. Um... Like, Killer Croc's slightly stronger than a human, but not stronger than Bane. Yeah, he's not, he's not like... Like... Wait, here we go. I just searched it. How strong is Killer Croc? Here's an article. Is Killer Croc stronger than Bane? So he's 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 close, if anything. Okay. The can fact we that, s- that question needs to be asked. Can we all agree that Luke Cage is about on level with Bane in terms of strength? Um, no, I'd say Bane's probably a bit stronger than than Luke Cage. But I th- I reckon Luke Cage is around there. Yeah, he's close. Yeah. Bane's got punched by like Power Girl and Superman, and he got struck back up without being wounded. But that's endurance. That's not strength. Oh yeah, true. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I can say if, like, if Bane punched Luke Cage, then Luke Cage would go down. He'd be unconscious. I reckon Bane versus Luke Cage, Bane would win. But so why didn't you suggest Luke... that then? Because this one's more interesting. Because I don't know who would win. Yeah, that's fair. I, I think we, we're not necessarily um, well educated, knowledgeable enough, enough about <laughs> yeah about about the uh, characters. If I had to take, if I had to take a gamble on it, I'd probably go for Luke Cage. I'd go. I'd probably go Luke Cage as well. Yeah, I, was Luke Cage. To, I was trying to make it like a conversation. I think that's the closest one so far, though. Yeah, it's, it's pretty close. Yeah, mm. yeah. I mean, um, that, that that one would be one I'd like to see. Although I feel like it'd be that, over quickly. Whoever cool. can hit the hardest punch. Yeah, yeah, but I yeah, Croc's more likely to go for a bite than a punch. So Cage would probably just drop him. Yeah, I I think so maybe. I mean, is Killer Croc rippable? I mean, yeah. Then I I feel like Luke Cage would be able to rip apart. Killer but Croc. would Luke Cage kill him though? I feel That's like a... Luke Cage would be able to like snap his jaw or something. Okay. Because I I agree he may be. Does Luke killing. Cage kill? He he can. Like he, he has, he's, but he, does he? He's one of those Marvel heroes. He's like Captain America. He doesn't advocate uh-huh. killing, but in the field of battle, he does kill. He has killed. That's fair. But he's Bloody not like Spider-Man or Batman, who's like, we don't kill, we don't kill, you know? Mm-hmm. So we all agree that Luke Cage wins it. I think Luke Cage has to come out victor on top of that. Bloody Crocodile Hunter Dundee. 
<laughs> Killer Croc or um Oh shit, what's his name? What's the name of the crocodile hunter? Fuck. Um Steve Irwin? Steve Irwin. Killer Croc or Steve Irwin? Um I think that already happened. That's canon. No, that's Stingray, mate. And Steve Irwin lost. Oh wait, was it a Stingray? It was a Stingray. Yeah. Aww. So it depends how many Stingrays Killer Croc has with him. Oh this okay, is more no, yeah. so let's move on. Okay. Um well uh this this also involves Luke Cage. Okay. Oh, yeah. My suggestion. Uh Power Man and Iron Fist versus Booster Gold and Blue Beetle. Right. So the original Blue Beetle, not not the original, Ted Cord Blue Beetle. So I the don't one that know doesn't enough have the about Booster Gold and Blue Beetle to really uh, it's be Blue Beetle. Is it the alien one, Luke? No, Ted Cord Blue Beetle. So the one that doesn't have the scarab who has like, oh. gadgets and shit. Then Power Man and Luke Cage. Power Man is Luke Cage. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. I I, th- I think Power Man and Iron Fist would. The 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 thing is right. Uh, Boost Gold and Blue Beetle are, are more like they'd get lucky. Yeah. Like they'd kind of like fumble their way into a win, whereas um, Power Man and Iron Fist would just straight up try and beat the shit out of them. Yeah, Boost Gold and Iron never Fist serious. don't mess around. That's the thing. Mm. Like they're just get in, get out. Jesus Christ, have I been paid yet? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so basically, um, yeah, Power Man and Iron Fist would probably win. I feel like that would be a really fun team up, though. Like they'd run that into each fun. other accidentally. Well, you know what? You Booster know Gold yeah. and Blue Beetle would be making jokes while Iron Fist and Luke Cage are like, "Oh, for fuck's sake, will you just well, stop it, and die?" Here's a better one that's that's more closely um, themed. Um, Booster Gold and Blue Beetle versus Quantum and Woody. Oh, now that's okay. like. That's pretty close, I think. Are we talking experienced Quantum and Woody or like new Quantum and Woody? Um, I mean, there is no such thing as experienced Quantum and Woody. No, but I mean, like, like they know what their power sets are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they they know what they're doing as much as they would. See, I, I would... want to say if Woody was smart, then Quantum and Woody would win. But if Woody was just being Woody, Woody... they would lose. Woody is relative. Uh, but the thing is, he'd be I'm a dick sorry. about it. If they stick together, Quantum and Woody would yeah. win. But Woody uh-huh. would just be just do some dickish move. And yeah, if, cause them if to they lose. could, yeah, if they could work together as well as uh, Booster Gold and Blue Beetle would, then they could probably get the upper hand and win. But well, I don't think they would because they don't like each other. <laughs> yeah, don't Quantum and Woody have like human endurance though? So we well, super boost... human endurance. Wait, have they got like abnormal endurance, or are they just human? I I mean I don't know for certain, but I assume so. The thing is, Quantum Woody need to connect regularly in order to keep yes. their powers, don't they? So I feel like Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, they're quite intelligent, aren't they? Mm-hmm. They be able to figure that out and then just keep them apart long enough. I think. But they could still, if they if they did that, like they could still they can still fight for those twenty four hours. Like if they ended up going one v one. Like you know, Booster versus uh, Woody and and Quantum versus Blue Beetle. I think one on one, they um, Quantum and Woody would probably win because Quantum gets creative with his um, with his shield. Yeah, Quantum and... is where I'm sort of like he he'd he'd be the winning hand if and were Woody to win. gets very lucky with his his uh like shot thing. But so... you just said so to Blue Beetle and uh, Booster Gold. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so... exactly. So uh, you know, it could be could you, go either. You guys way. got to decide that one. I'm saying Quantum and Woody, because um, I'm a fanboy. <laughs> as much as I like Quantum and Woody, I'm going to have to go towards Booster Gold and Speed. Oh, shit. Okay. Harry, you're the, you're the tiebreaker then. From what I heard, my initial view was Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, but I think I'm actually going to have to go with Quantum and Woody, because I think you're hey. right, Luke. They would win in one on one battles, regardless mm. of what matchup you went with. And so. they're, they're almost definitely going to get split up because they don't like sticking together. Yeah, so. Exactly. I'm getting destroyed here, aren't I? <laughs> <Every time. laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Uh, well, next up is uh, from the first suggestion from Harrison, I think. Um, Red Hood versus the Winter Soldier. Hey. Hey. Sidekicks. What? The Can you side. remind me what Red Hood's actual powers are, or does he even have any? He's, he's basically Batman, man. except he kills people. It, it, he's one I of the Robins, isn't he? Which one? Yeah, yeah, he was the second, the second one. one. Uh, what's yeah, his name again, sorry? Jason, Jason Todd. Todd. Jason Todd. Okay. Um, this is a close one because they're very 
They're almost the same character. Yeah, that's yeah. why there's a lot of... I like, was about to say Winter Soldier something. wouldn't hesitate to kill, but neither would Red Hood. But neither would Red Hood, exactly. Um, well, it depends which iteration of Red Hood, though, because in recent years, he's become more of an anti-hero where he'll... Uh, yeah, still Let's kills, assume killer version. Okay. They're both out for blood. I feel like Winter Soldier... Winter Soldier is more powerful physically, right? Mm-hmm. We can all agree Because of his Yeah, his fist. Whereas... Red Hood probably uses Red more gadgets more, and tech. More skilled, I think. When it comes to when it comes to hand to hand combat, Winter Soldier would have the power, but um, Red Hood would have the skill. If it's if it's not if it's like close range, but not hand to hand, like you know, like close with guns, I think Red Hood has the upper hand. But if it's long range, Winter Winter Soldier could just snipe him because that's one of his things that he's a really good sniper. Even close his helmet, range, man. man. Like I mean, you've you've seen in the films with. Um... Uh, Sebastian, Sebastian, what's his name? Sebastian Stan plays a fantastic Winter Soldier. He just blocks uh-huh. bullets with his um, metal arm. He's got a but shield that's... with him always, and he has enhanced reflexes to okay. that's... block those bullets with. You know, but Red Hood has two guns, and his arm isn't that big. He can't block. If, if Red Hood shoots him with both handguns, he can't block both of them at the same time. Uh, but I feel like he can block everywhere that's vital, and he can persevere through where he does get shot, to close that gap quick enough to take out Red Hood. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? All right. I, I, I give you a second. Harrison, go ahead. Um, All right. With what you're saying, because... This should be... I'm on like, the fence. ...a decider to change your mind. All right. One, Red Hood's helmet is extremely bulletproof, so it's very high in endurance. One, as, ba- as he was trained by Batman, he's also a tactician that's had some really great ideas. And he'll yeah, obviously God. have the gadgets to overcome his arm. What are we talking about? Oh, uh, well, like in, what's the scenario like in, um, here, though? What? Um, like, are they just suddenly know. meeting in the street, or are they had time in to prepare? Because I feel I'm, like I'm, if they met in the street, Winter Soldier would win. If they had time to prepare, Red Hood might win. Well, nah, I'm, I'm, Red Hood always he, has his stuff on him. Winter Soldier no, 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 the film. That's not what I mean. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind: Winter Soldier the film, the fight between Steve and Winter Soldier. But instead of Steve, it's it's Red Hood, right? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. That scenario. Um, Which fight in that film, sorry? The the one on, on the street. Uh, on the bridge. So, and, not on the bridge, under the bridge. Where Falcon was on the bridge, sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, got you. Um, And my thing is, firstly, Harrison with the gadgets, as he was saying. Um, and also... Black sorry, Widow. Black Widow. Hands. Okay, Karen. His knife could probably penetrate his arm as it has cut his throat, if you remember, from the Under the Red Hood film. And it's like Batman yeah, even said... Yeah, but I, I, no, I don't, I don't think that's true. Um, I don't think that, 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 that would work. But uh, in, mo- in a lot of instances of Bucky, he has like a vibranium arm, so... Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, but I think, I think Red Hood could probably EMP his arm for at least long enough to get a good few shots in um, yeah. to kill him so I'm, also, I'm i'm gonna go red hood um, he's also got really good accuracy like he even shot up deathstroke got a few good shots on him yeah deathstroke would win though that's just <laughs> so yeah well, i'm red hood as well I'm, I'm sticking with winter soldier but it looks like red hood wins on that one yes yeah, i won you, uh, finally lost <laughs> um cool so the next one is a uh i think this one's gonna be hard for us to do okay. sorry harry think... no beef <laughs> uh, uh, I've literally got a pile of beef roasting right oh, wait. I'm going to take you the, to your house later. The next one is uh, is actually Harry versus Harrison. <laughs> what oh, the hell? Hey. Let's go. Um, Come on then. This, I think this one might be quite hard because I don't think any of us are knowledgeable enough on these two characters, but it's a listener suggestion. Okay. Um, another one from Coco Joe Long. He says Spectre versus Spawn. So DC oh. Spectre versus Image Spawn. Sp- Spectre's a god. He'll just win. He can do anything. <sighs> Tell yeah, but which so yeah, okay, Harrison, I'll let I'll let you explain it because. All right, I don't know much on him either, but he's literally god. That that's push- okay. I feel like I I know the most about these two characters, and I don't know much. Okay. Um, but basically, Spectre is a force of of nature. Um, he's he's the spirit of vengeance. He he is very very powerful, almost on the level of a god. Like he serves what would be DC's god or whatever, pretty much. Um, obviously, Spawn is kind of like a demon. He he has, in his comics, he's he's taken over hell and heaven. So yeah. he's clearly very powerful. 
Um, so he's technically so, killed God and Satan. Exactly. Um, okay. So I think I think it would be pretty close. I want to hear your guys' takes on it before I I start spitting some some. I'm facts. probably going to change to Spawn as he's taken over heaven and hell, and he's basically killed God, which uh, Spectre like protects in a way. From okay. what like I know mm -hmm. um, about these characters, I am going to have to go Scepter because... Spectre. Uh, yeah, sorry, my bad. <laughs> uh, because in the Spawn comic universe, I mean, these like gods aren't as big a deal as yeah. say, the Marvel or DC universe. Mm -hmm. They're more concepts than actual like beings that can shoot lasers and everything like mm -hmm. that. So I, I think uh, Spectre would have the upper hand if he came against Spawn. I think he can just I'm do also, more. I'm also going with Spectre. Um, ah. Spawn is much more ground level yeah. when it comes to his power set. Um, he's very powerful, um, but he's not quite on Spectre's level. Spectre could could essentially turn into dust, I think. But obviously, none of us are very knowledgeable about um, this, so if any listeners want to put in their two cents on this one specifically, feel free. Oh, there's always that guy near the keyboard breathing heavily. <laughs> <laughs> guys, while we're on the topic of gods, I want to throw a new one in there. And I don't know how oh, much okay. you guys will know about these characters. I think you okay. guys will both know about them, but I don't know how much you will. I'm going to say Dr. Manhattan mm -hmm. versus oh. one of the only characters in comics who I think could stand up against him, the Living Tribunal. Living Tribunal wins. Do you Isn't that so? the guy who's meant to be like this strong... He's meant to be He's like the, the second opposite. to the one above all in Marvel. Yeah, Living Tribunal, yeah, he wins. But then um, Dr. Manhattan can literally just think Doc people out of existence. Yeah. I, 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 I think they end. both, I think there is no one, honestly. Never-ending battle. It, it would be a paradox, they'd both just stop existing. Yeah, exactly. Mm. It never happens because they don't exist. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, I think, I think Living Tribunal... When it comes down to it, is technically more powerful, but I, I think, think altogether, be, yeah. I think altogether, it's like they they both losers. Actually, thinking about it though, uh, the Living Tribunal looks over every single multiverse in the mm -hmm. Marvel multiverse. Doctor Manhattan, at least in the original Watchmen series, couldn't see outside of his own universe. He can see different timelines, can't he? Which is essentially the same thing. But he was only living in his timeline. Like He could see all his future, all his past. He was aware of other timelines. Right. Okay. But he wasn't aware of other universes. So Living Tribunal, then? I think, I think it's got to be Living Tribunal. Yeah, okay. I hadn't thought about this before I asked. I thought that was an interesting one. Yeah, I think cool. those are the only two characters who could stand against each other, really. Because they're so mm -hmm. insanely powerful in their own rights. Yeah. Mm. Cool. I would... So Oh. Throw one in myself, but it's just really stupid, and it's the same answer, yes. No, come on, let's go. Say it go, right go, now. Go. All right, so the strongest guy from Marvel, what's his name again? Harry? Marvel. Yeah. Oh. There's a guy from DC and, who's basically, yeah, the, uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, it's like a little man in a suit. Yeah, um, a man with a top hat and a uh, moustache. I'm trying to remember. There's a video is. on it, and the, the, the answer to none it. Them, none of them win. They're both gone. Yeah, I mean, the so one above all is like... literally everything. So, but we've so seen him, like, the, two um... times in comics. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So There is no one else. That one's definitely... That's just indecisive. And there's uh, way too little about either of them because they don't want to be stopped reading by religious groups. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, um... All right, so next one um, is another Harrison suggestion. Um, Iron Man versus Exo Man Oh. Oh, oh that wanna... one's quite good, actually. Mm. I want to hear you two before I go, because... Now, now you want to go or first, are you guys Harry? undecided? Are, are we saying Iron Man with the extremist virus here? Yeah, like we're, the say, we're just saying Iron Man. Yeah, just just Iron Man standard Iron Man as he is usually. So Same with EXO. That's how all these characters are. How they you normally are. Oh man, I feel like Iron Man's smarter, right? Yeah, yeah not that's necessarily a, that's a, a better fighter, but he's smarter. Mm -hmm. So he's more likely given. to figure out Exo Man War's weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And it all depends whether Exo Man War can kill him before Iron Man figures out how to decide. Um, him. So, Exo Man War obli ob ob obliterates him. him and then, 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 then. Exo Man War obliterates him, basically. So? 
His suit is far more powerful. Oh, yeah. His suit is also very intelligent. Um, he's not, obviously, Eric himself. You think his suit um, and will also, do most of the work for him? Yes, mm. I think so. I mean, it, it does a lot of the time. Um, and even if they then took the suits off, um, oh, well, yeah. if they took Eric the suits off, wins again because yeah. he is a warrior. Um, I think Examanor wins like every time um, with that one. But, you know, what about you guys? I, I think I'm going to side with you on that, to be honest. Oh, damn. I mean, I, I was... think if Tony had time, like if he was told Exo Man of War is coming to Earth, mm-hmm. like, if he was just yeah, told but... that, then I think Tony Stark, given time to prepare, would be able to defeat him. But I know this yeah. isn't how it works. Well, he, he, he created a suit of armor to face the Phoenix Force. Like He created a know. suit of armor to face Celestials. So. But he couldn't exactly. beat Thanos. That's, that's why it's their standard. Um... Yeah, I, I think standard Exo's got to win. Mm-hmm. Thanos threw them over. I would say um, Exo, just from um, like he's got a lot more experience as he was born in like that war time. Do you mean do you mean in combat? Like he's got more yeah combat, combat and he's also got that like god slaying sword, which is just insane. You know that a lightning blade? Oh yeah, yeah, the the one that he forms his energy sword. Yeah, and it's just insane. I reckon he could that could probably cut out his suit. I reckon. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it'd chop it in half. Like yeah. chop him in half. I, Exo. Um, cool. So that's unanimous then. Uh, so the next one is one of mine. This this one's a little bit weird. Um, so the Venom symbiote, the symbiote itself. Right. Not attached to a host. Not attached to a host. Just the right. symbiote versus Shanhara. So the Exo armor on its own. Can so the Exo symbiote... armor do anything on its own? Both are symbiotic. Right. right. So they need. They both need a host. Yeah. Um. So who wants? I reckon as the symbiote is like a liquid kind of thing, it would probably take over the suit and make it like a... Uh, like, how does the armor add, find a host? How does the armor does find the a host? Um, it chooses a host. The, well, the hosts come to, hit, come to it. The host so comes I, to it. I I'm think the Venom say... symbiote could go and find a host then. Yeah, so that's quickly. what I was going to say. The, yeah. the symbiote would, would seek a host, whereas Shanhara would wait for a host and yeah. therefore... But then, when it comes down to after finding a host, the symbiote would then have to try and destroy Shanhara, and Shanhara is almost indestructible. So it may just be Venom slashing at yeah. Shanhara. As it sits and if there. the host that it picked isn't very intelligent, it wouldn't think, right, I'll bury this underground or anything. It'll just keep working. Uh-huh. It. Uh, okay, in, in terms of sheer endurance, then, uh, sheer endurance, I, I think the armor would probably win. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The armor last out. See, because I I like convinced myself just saying because I was originally on the side of Venom, mm. and Why? I was like, it could find what? a host. Yeah, because it could yeah. actively seek a host, and then. Um, but yeah. I guess Venom could just sit by the armor and just kill anyone who walks up to it. So to make it yeah, that's true. Obsolete. It could be a yeah. It could be like a like a guardian uh, standstill. Yeah, I I think that one's actually got to be a tie for me to be honest. I don't think either mm. of them would ever win. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree, Ty. Yeah, it's a it's a standstill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got to be a tan- standstill for me. Cool. Okay, so another Harrison suggestion then: um, Deadshot versus Bloodshot. Um, Bloodshot. Who's going with what here? There's no uh, scenario well, where <laughs> Deadshot comes out on top. There, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. I said that originally. I kind of changed. My Bloodshot, mind. literally. As as Bloodshot's walking towards him and Deadshot's getting all these brilliantly placed shots in him, just bang, 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 and Bloodshot just carries on walking at it, walking at him until he just he can just one shot him in the face and he's done. Yeah, like, I realised how stupid. That's massively mismatched. That's cool. It's just I I just thought it'd be interesting to just <laughs> See if we all agreed on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we were just like bang, easy. Yeah, yeah. Bloodshot, yeah. bloodshot, yeah. bloodshot. <laughs> Definitely. An that's interesting like thing in the background. There's one of your. Oh, sorry, that's a that's a car outside. Is that a car? Yeah. Jesus Christ! That's, that's a car. Sounds like yeah. a mouse dying. Sort your car out, you bell end. <laughs> um, no, I was tempted to put um, put Punisher and Wolverine versus Bloodshot, um, because. Bloodshot basically is like Punisher's cross with Wolverine because he's got like the healing ability of Wolverine. I think but Wolverine the... and Punisher would win that. I think they would. That's why I, yeah. I wanted to make it like more fair and have someone else on Bloodshot's team as well. But I was like, who would even the odds? Yeah, Punisher. I don't know. So yeah, that, well, that was Ninja just something. That's that's not an actual one, but Ninja Bloodshot first. Ninja Bloodshot. 
See, that's interesting. I feel because Punisher couldn't hurt Ninja because of his like armor plating. I feel like um, it would Punisher would die first. Yeah. Um, because Ninjak could hold Wolverine off while Bloodshot takes out Punisher. Could then, it? yeah, because Nin- Punisher Nin- can't put him down. And then, and then, um, and then Ninjak would die eventually. Um, mm-hmm. and then, and then I think Wolverine would finish Punisher. Uh, no, Wolverine would finish Bloodshot. Sorry, because uh, yeah. Bloodshot, I think Bloodshot would... needs protein to heal, whereas Wolverine I don't know what Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine just heals so. How strong is Ninjak's sword? Very. Or is it supposed to be? Cut his head off. No. Is it? And it wouldn't matter. Vibranium. Or Vibranium Adamantium. Adamantium. Yeah. Um, So this next one, again, I thought would be interesting, right? This is my suggestion. Squirrel Girl versus Saitama from One Punch Man. Oh. Yeah. Jesus, man. Uh, Squirrel Girl, he, he wouldn't let. She wouldn't let One Punch Man punch Squirrel her. Squirrel Girl smacked up Thanos and the entire Avengers. But given. every single time Squirrel Girl beats anyone, it's off screen. Saitama, you see him do it. So my my thing. Nah, is, not every like, single time. I mean, why is it off screen? Really? I yeah. thought it was that was her whole thing that she just beats people off off screen. Because Saitama beat people off screen, she just beats everyone. Both of their things is that they, they win every time. Yeah, mm. um, but also I just think One Punch Man because all One Punch Man has to do is like poker. You know what? I guys, I think you... they just meet with mutual respect <laughs> <laughs> and just walk away, thinking the world doesn't need this. It will be the end of all universes. Yeah, that would if be the, the universe fight. would collapse. Yeah, yeah. how how the strong is Squirrel Girl meant to be? Well, the the idea is she never loses. Yeah, it's uh, the same as Saitama. Like she, she well, can beat anyone. Like her powers are Somehow. basically she can communicate with squirrels. She's sassy and she's slightly stronger than a normal person, and she can jump really high. But she always wins. That that's the whole thing of Squirrel Girl. That's why I hate Squirrel Girl. <laughs> <laughs> but you um, love Saitama. Yeah, I mean, I would go with Saitama, but like it is a stalemate. Yeah, really. Be- because of the way that both of those characters work, there's just no mm-hmm. way that. Yeah, if we're staying within the rules of the characters, then it's just uh, no game. What if Saitama kills every squirrel alive? And you then... what? Well, then Squirrel Girl's still alive. Doesn't matter. Damn. Oh, but she loses her friends and she's depressed and she kills herself. Oh, oh shit! Jesus Christ! <laughs> God damn. <dark. laughs> um. So next two are um, both people who have previously appeared on this in this episode, right? In this Red episode. Hood. In this episode. My God. This is a suggestion from uh, some guy called Mr. Ryan Comics. Oh, what a bitch. It says Red Hood versus Iron Fist. Who would win? Oh, Iron fuck Fist. you. You just wanted to win, Harry. <laughs> Iron Fist. Why not my answer? You're, you're uh... going to say Red Hood. I'm going to say Red Hood. Hey, um, yeah, Red Hood. Right. Because... Hold on. I'm just going to give you a fact here before you change your mind. Okay. Mm-hmm. Iron Fist can literally dodge bullets. But can, he do- but can he dodge two bullets? <laughs> Literally, one of the very first comics with Iron Fist is a series of people shooting at him, and he's just okay. walking past the bullets. Can he dodge a knife? Mm. But if he can dodge a bullet, Harrison, he can dodge a knife. Okay, but if they get to close quarters, right, and Red Hood manages to slip past his punch, yeah. Oh, but I he's think... gonna break his nose. No, he'd get a shot in. He'd just shoot him. <laughs> Red Hood wins. Slip off and shoot him, and you can't dodge from point blank. Iron Fist like... wouldn't start with a punch, though. He'd start with a kick. Okay, well, he has... he's not Iron Iron Foot, is he? No, he'd start with a kick, kicking him in the head. Admittedly, wouldn't do any damage to him, but it would knock him down, knock bring it around okay. for an Iron Fist down through the hood. But also, they're arguably... Um... If anything, I'd say Iron Fist is slightly more skilled. Yeah. In when it comes to hand to hand, but not by like loads. Okay. And I think I think Red Hood would avoid the first few hits at least, um, giving him a chance to get in for a hit. And obviously, um, he can only harden his fists, right? Uh, no, he can harden his feet as well. Okay, but what I'm saying is, if he gets, if Red Hood manages to slip in, slip a gun onto his chest and pull the trigger, 
that he can't harden his chest and stop the bullet, can he? Why? Uh, I he can't, but I think he could persevere man. through it to beat Red Hood and then regenerate. But not if it goes afterwards. straight through his heart. But I don't think saying. he'd let I it think... go straight through his heart. That's what I'm I saying. think it would. I think this is another close one. You picked close ones because I think it's very much circumstantial. I, I only wanted to pick close ones to be honest, because those are that's, the most that's, interesting, that's aren't fair. they? Um, smoke, smoke bombs, shoot through the smoke, shoot them in the dick. You might be walking. <laughs> the, the thing is, I like if if you're gonna say that um, Red Hood would be able to dodge the first couple of blows by Iron Fist. I think Iron Fist would be able to dodge Red Hood putting a gun directly yeah, onto his chest. That's that's fair. You know? Um I think Iron Fist probably does win nine uh eight out of ten times. Okay. Um, I'll give, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that actually. But because yeah. I, I so think I'm... they are almost on um equal skill levels. Mm-hmm. But for the fact that Iron Fist is like magically enhanced, you know? Mm-hmm. I'd say in a serious note about fifty fifty. Okay, well, Iron Fist wins then, because I'm going Iron Fist anyway. Oh, I was going to say, because Red Hood has had this fair experience with magic mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So it's not like he's going to go it's, into it It's blind. not like magic, it's, it's that he's it's, magically it's enhanced. Iron Fist. Oh, yeah, it's to make him... yeah. it's okay, Fist. Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Okay, cool. Red Hood oh, to the end. It. That's cool. All right, two to one. This is Iron Fist still wins. Um, See, even so... if I said uh, Red Hood versus Hulk, I'm going to say Red Hood. <laughs> right, all right, mate. Red <laughs> Red Hood versus God. Yeah, Red Hood wins <laughs> every time. Like, he'd shoot God, in it. Easy. Um, <laughs> Can God, God so, dodge bullets? Nah, mate. Like another one far. of mine. Um, Thanos, without the Infinity Gauntlet, so just standard Thanos. Okay, just standard Thanos. Versus standard Darkseid. Ooh, Darkseid. Ooh. Yeah, well, I'm going Darkseid as well. Yeah, that laser if, you, that if, if, so. if Harry's going Darkseid, then you know Darkseid's won. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's the lasers the out of his eyes. Things. Yeah, the Omega Beams yeah. kill him straight away. Yeah. What about Dark Side versus um like amped up Dark Side versus Thanos with the gone? Well, what do you mean by amped up Dark Side? Uh, I don't know. He's prime. Like he's he's just had a, a cup of coffee. He's Wait, feeling what? fine. Thanos he's... with the full with the full gauntlet. Yeah. Thanos. That makes him a god. Thanos would win. Then. Thanos, Thanos literally is... defeated anyone, the idea anyone... of interni- eternity. But the yeah. Dark Side has had a cup of coffee, so he's amped. You know, he's ready. Oh, shit. Oh, right. No. Wait. No. Thanos can conjure himself a cup of coffee with the Infinity Gauntlet. Bitch, checkmate. I win. No, he, he can conjure himself two cups of coffee. Shit. He can conjure uh, himself a second mouth to drink both at the same time. Oh, Reality stone, <laughs> bitches. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, anyone with the Infinity Gauntlet would would be like fucking me with the Infinity Gauntlet could be. I don't think necessarily so. anyone. Well, yeah, any, if they're like brain dead, then well, they can't. You Nebula need, took you the need... Infinity Gauntlet, and I think lots of people would be able to defeat Nebula with the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, but Nebula's a racist, and that word's not a very nice racist. word. <laughs> Nebula's Nebula's an idiot. That's what I was okay, going to say. Okay. <laughs> um. If I so could next... go back in time and drink another cup of coffee, he'd be like oh, really amped. <laughs> he'd be buzzed, mate. <laughs> um, so next one is is from Harrison again. Killer Croc versus the Lizard. All right, can I start this one? Feel free. I reckon this is all on experience, as Lizard is just a. Um... Well, they're both savage. So yeah, true. I don't think but he's bad. like a scientist, whereas Killer Croc is a well, street fighter. But originally. when he's the lizard, he's not a scientist. Yeah, he's, he's just, just savage. Pure... No, oh, lizard I moves faster like... than Killer Croc, mm. right? But and I, I, I think I think it comes down to Killer Croc's just so, got more endurance. He's much. I was going to say bigger. Killer Killer Croc has harder skin, yeah. um, and he's stronger and probably more savage. Like he's trying to eat him. Absolutely, um, Killer Croc has more of a mind. Lizard does have minor regeneration. Yeah, um, no, so you got to keep that to in mind. Killer Croc. Yeah, I mean, um, in um, in the Secret Wars 1985 event, I I don't think either of you have read it. He literally nah. gets shot in about issue three. He spends the next nine issues going. Ah, I've been shot. Ah. So it's <laughs> a bit. Oh my god. You know, I, I don't right, okay. think he'd last very long. So is that unanimous then on Killer Croc? I think I think Killer Croc's got to be. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so here's. Mr. Ankle Mix, once again, Moon Knight versus the Joker. I know who I'm going with straight away. Yeah, you wouldn't even say Joker even if... No, I don't like the Joker, um, and I don't think... I mean, they're both crazy. It's crazy versus crazy, but Moon Knight is also skilled. The idea He's skilled and crazy. Is that if Batman could kill, Batman mm. 
would have killed the Joker by now. Yes, and Moon Knight. Moon Knight is basically Marvel's Batman who kills. Okay, well, sure. In, um, also, yeah, so in, a, in a mini nutshell, to be honest, Moon Knight just kick his head off, mate. Easy. Yeah, I mean, Moon Knight would not hesitate to kill. But the Joker. what about right? Listen to this scenario. It's like Dark Knight's Metal. So, Moon Knight kills Joker, but then the the Joker gas gets him, and then Moon Knight gets another personality, which is the Joker. Now, Gotham's fucked, mate. <laughs> no one's killing that guy. Exactly. Jesus. Wait, so anyway, Moon Knight lives in Gotham now? Oh, I mean, if... Sure. Um, anyway, so Moon Knight wins then. That, that yeah, basically. but I shock. I'm going to go with uh, Moon Knight, as Luke probably thought I was going to go with Joker. No, I didn't. I knew, I oh, knew really? Moon Knight was going to win. Like, I, I think Moon Knight was would be just Moon would win. Yeah. I mean, Joker Moon relies a lot on the fact that Batman won't kill him. Yeah. So. And he's not unpredictable enough for Moon Knight because he Moon Knight is also very unpredictable. Oh, absolutely. He doesn't know what he's going to do, literally. Mm-hmm. So. Uh so here's I have a three-way fight here. Oh. Right. So someone versus someone versus someone. Right, free for all, yeah. So it's Batman. Yep. Versus Def uh, Daredevil. Okay. Versus Ninja. Batman who wins. <laughs> Batman. I disagree. Daredevil's just a fucking cheap Batman as well. Oh, okay. But you forget, Ninjak is a killer, and he's a very good one at that. See, even if he's a Ninja... killer and Batman's not, I think that doesn't mean Ninjak will win because Batman could still. Ninjak has faced off against some of the most powerful characters in the Valiant universe, and being I, obviously you can say the same about Batman because he has. Um, the man's think... punched up Darkseid. Sure, but I think standard, <laughs> standard Ninja versus standard Batman. Um, when it comes to blow for blow, Ninja wins. I think so. I oh, think I you see. guys are discounting Daredevil way too easily. Yeah, yeah because, because Daredevil because would be not... able to dodge essentially everything sure. Batman and Ninja had to throw at him unless they work together, Ooh, which they would Batman's Sonic Batarangs would mess up Daredevil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And same with Ninja. He also has that, like... I yeah, think it, def- it definitely would come down to Batman versus Ninjak. If it and came I think... down to Batman versus Ninjak, I think Ninjak would win. I think Ninjak takes See, it as well. Batman's like, because as he doesn't use guns... Don't be one of those is... Batman fanboys. No, no, no. Like, oh, I won't. Prep time. I've prep time. If he has the prep time, because I, I fucking hate that. that. I mean, like, because he doesn't use guns, so his gun-proof armor won't do much. So it's about physical mm-hmm. trauma. And Ninjak has swords. Uh, and Batman with has Batman's the... precision hits, he could probably hit him like in the eyes rather than shooting at his legs. Sure, but I don't think Ninjak would take the hit. I mean, like he he has finesse close to Daredevil, um, with his eyesight. So he has eyes. That's far. Um, and Daredevil then has he, eyes. He just doesn't. Ninjak use them, mate. would go straight for the kill. He wouldn't fuck about. I know, I know Daredevil has a <laughs> So, yeah, I think Ninjak takes it. Yeah, uh, you're right, mate. Oof. Uh, yeah, I'll let you have a... I don't agree, but, you know... I mean, yeah, stick, stick to your guns, but you're wrong. But you lose, but, yeah. you know. Ouch. <laughs> uh, so, next Wait, up, let's see... Wait, British. He's stupid. Uh, what? British people you are offended idiots. yourself and everyone else on this podcast. I'm not British. Oh, shit. Who are you, Harry? I'm South African. Hey, my brother. <laughs> oh, no. My brother. Oh, no, okay, no, I'm moving on. No, 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 no. <laughs> and we're moving I'm on. I'm moving on. Um, so next one is a listener suggestion right. um, from a guy called, I think it's Seabatch. Um, and we're talking MCU specifically. So minor spoilers for, um, or actually, let's just say spoilers for Infinity War. Okay. Um for the this next one, um, so Thor with Stormbreaker, but MCU Stormbreaker, sort of the, his new new Hammer oh, Axe yeah, yeah, yeah. thing versus Hulk. Is Who it alright if I be a ref for this one because I don't know much about? Well, either. you've seen Infinity War. It's it's the film versions versus the Hulk. I, yes, I, so the film version of Hulk film, versus film though, version of Thor. Got... Just no, but film version oh, of Hulk right. in general versus film version of Thor with his new Hammer. All right, as well as as. Yeah, four. Thanos punched up Hulk, and then four did kind of. Well, my thing is Thor Ragnarok, 
um, Thor was about to beat um, Hulk with his uh, when he just has the Odin Force without a um, without anything to channel it through. With the new axe, he now has something to channel it, so he's even more powerful now. So he he could beat Hulk. I I, th- I think Thor would win, but I disagree with you on that. I think okay. if that fight had played out completely, I think it would have gone on for ages, and I think Hulk would eventually have won. Right? Really? Yeah, I genuinely think so. Because Hulk gets uh, angrier, stronger, all that sort of stuff. And, okay. Um, like he was not yeah. angry in that ring at all. Yeah, he he was fucking about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was having a good time, or as good a time. But also, as Odin really Force is like because I still believe that he now has the Odin Force in the MCU, which is one of the most powerful. Absolutely forces in the in the Marvel Universe. So if he does, which again, I believe he does, I still think he would win. But the reason I think that Thor would win is because in Thor Ragnarok as well, we see that Hulk's skin can be penetrated. Like, mm-hmm. he can bleed. That wolf mm-hmm. bites Do into him. Bleed. And yeah. he, he does bleed. If that, that axe wolf, can penetrate... Fenrir. Yeah, Fenrir. If the axe can penetrate Thanos and his skin, mm-hmm. then I think Ooh. it would be able to kill the Hulk. With the axe, so, I think Thor wins. Without the so axe, I think Thor, Hulk then. wins. Yeah, I'll go Thor as well. I think even without the axe, I think Thor would just take the win. But uh, well, Thor, Thor goes ahead me. with this anyway. Cool. I would say Thor with the axe. Cool. So, so we're oh done. God, my dog yeah? does not agree Thor with wins. that being on That's fine. Oof. No one's gonna um, agree with this. No. The next one is a suggestion from my girlfriend. Um, she says <laughs> Ant Man. Wow. Um, she says Ant Man versus the Atom. So. Basically, Atomy can get a lot, lot smaller than Ant Man. Uh, Ant Man could go to the one. Yeah, I wouldn't. Go, I wouldn't go that there that quick. I think it's a very close fight. Because where Atom can become even smaller than an Atom. Well, firstly, let's clear up. Um, Their power Ray sets Bond are Atom. almost identical. So... Wait, which Ant Man and which Atom are we going with? Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to say Comic Palmer. Hank Pym. It's Comic Hank Pym versus Comic Ray Palmer. Yeah. So the the originals of both. Yeah. The OGs. Um. I'm gonna say Hank Pym um, would lose because halfway through he'd have to stop to beat his wife. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna say the Atom because he he does a lot more with his powers um, than Ant Man. Ant Man basically does just get small and get big. Um, okay. uh, Atoms is also to do with like molecular structure and shit like Actually, that. Actually, yeah, because Atom's powers are slightly different. I don't know how the rules work in the DC universe, but can't he like travel mm-hmm. through phone lines? Yeah, he can do shit like that. Which, I don't which know. is complete bullshit. If Obviously. your power is just to turn small, but uh, I think for reasons like that, it would have to be Atomu. Hey, that. Blackest mm-hmm. Night, that you remembered Harry? I do remember. I do remember that bullshit hey. moment where he just travels <laughs> through a phone. <laughs> He's like, oh, you sound sad, mate. Let me just. <clears throat> no, not cool. Yeah, what Luke said is what I would have said, so Atom. Okay. Cool. Hey, Atom sounds about right. I'm like glad I could well. speak for you. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite characters. Next one uh, from me. Two people who never miss. Deadshot versus Bullseye. Who wins? Bullseye. Bullseye? Nah, Deadshot. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to yeah. say Deadshot as well. <laughs> the thing is, Bullseye oh, has a little aim mark on his head <laughs> for where Deadshot yeah. can hit, you know? Um, I'm just going to say, right, I'm really surprised by Harry in this episode. He's gone a lot more DC than I thought he would. And like, uh, more Ninja. I'm giving uh, honest answers, well. mate. I, mean, I was expecting you to be a bitch. No, I'm, I'm giving honest answers here. Uh, Deadshot, it basically comes down to he has more, better armor. So. And also, um, Bullseye, Bullseye can use anything as a, as a projectile, but um, Deadshot uses weapons and he also poisons his bullets. So I feel like even if he met, like skims Bullseye... Bullseye, Bullseye would throw done. a bunch of shit at him and Deadshot would just shoot Yeah, just him. random and, shit. Yeah. Like a pen or something. Like, ah, pen, pencil, deodorant can. <laughs> Limited edition pop figure. Hit him right in. Hey, there. don't do that. Oh man. Rainbow yeah, my pop, pop link in the description. <laughs> um, so when you were saying all that. Sorry, that you sounded like one of those advertisements for like America. Literally, the uh, end of my videos is just things. an adver- advertisement every time. It's true. I've been. Um, so another suggestion from my girlfriend. Um, Defenders, oh, um, yeah. and we're talking. The Netflix defenders, the Netflix defenders, but not the not the ones from Netflix, but just that the group. team. Right, in the just comics. the team, the the characters so, from the comics. Daredevil, Jessica right. Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist from the comics. Okay, got you. Versus 
the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Defenders. Defenders. Really? No. Chance. I don't think it would be that easy. I really don't think it would be that easy. So. Nah, no um, Do they have anything that could hurt like Luke Cage, though? The Turtles, oh, no. Absolutely not. I mean, you, don't, you never know. Donnie, he's a smart guy. He's a smart Donnie, mate. He's a smart uh, Donatello. Donnie. Is, Mike, Michelangelo are too busy sitting there trying to flirt with Jessica Jones while she just fucking drinks. And I think like Raphael was like impatient and attitude could ruin the team. Daredevil would be pretty useless in the scenario. But, but I Iron also Fist and Luke Cage I, could don't clean the up. turtles kill? Like, so I feel like they'd just go for the kill and they'd at least take out some. I, I think, think Luke Cage is the last because. They can go toe to toe with Iron Fist. I know that. For they a can fact. go toe to toe with Iron Fist. One versus one with Iron Fist, toe to toe, um, very even. No, Jessica Jones no, 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 no. isn't they, a hero. They can go toe to toe with Iron Fist, but it, I don't. I don't. I think it's about a tie when they go one on one. Iron Fist and Luke Cage together will be able to take okay. out the Ninja Turtles by themselves. Mm, I disagree. I stand um, by that. Um, I think it's very close. I think this would be very close. In my opinion, I think Luke Cage is the the the, the winner. Like he he wins it. I think if Luke Cage wasn't there, say he was replaced with someone else, like a Punisher or something. Um, oh yeah, Punisher. If it then, was Punisher instead of Luke Cage, then no chance. Iron then Fist would be the final please. draw, and Iron Fist couldn't take on all four at once. Mm hmm. And uh, what about you? Forget Daredevil though. You've completely taken no, Daredevil. No, Daredevil would be useless in this scenario. What's he gonna do? Right. Hit him with little sticks? No, they're fucking turtles. They've got shit. <laughs> yeah, but that's what that's what Donatello and Michelangelo do. Hit people with sticks. <laughs> yeah, but these people don't have shells. These people will die. Okay, that's true. You know? So um so with Luke Cage, it's defenders without his turtles. Yeah. I yeah, absolutely go to that. Cool. Um another one by me. I'm very popular in my own list. Um, You're like the biggest fan of yourself. I'm biggest fan of myself, yeah. yeah. Um Shadow Man versus Hellboy. Oh, I, I, I find them very um, similar in a lot of ways. Um, I have no idea. I have never watched Hellboy. You've never... I thought you'd seen Hellboy, you fucking bitch. No, nah, um, I watched it before the new Shadow Wait, Man. And Harry, you don't really know anything about Shadow Man, do you? I know bits, and I think he'd win. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think I actually think uh, Hellboy would win. Really? Honestly. Yeah, he's got a big old fist. He does have a big old fist. He could fist him. And he's got a big old gun as well. He could fist him, then gun him. Exactly. Oh, I mean, I mean, Shadow Man could possibly take him to the dead dead side, but I, I feel like Hellboy would be more powerful on the dead side. So uh, I feel like Hellboy having what he normally has on him. Nah, I think I think Shadow Man would win. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going Hellboy. Um, Harrison, deciding that's vote. A, that's a weird Based on two characters uh, you don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, just guess. <laughs> Flip a coin, Shadow man. Man is like death. Mm, Hellboy's I, like hell. You definitely haven't read Sh Shadow Man. Hellboy's a lot like hell, and he's red. Red's so, not really. Like, I don't really like the color red. I like the color black. So I'm so going Shadow, Shadow Man. Well, there you go, Shadow <laughs> Man. Oh, <laughs> you're Shadow Man. Answer. Luke, before you started this podcast, you asked me to inform you when the podcast had hit one hour, and it's hit about okay. an hour right about now. So that's cool because we're coming to the end of this list. So fantastic. Uh, we're on the last listener suggestion now. Okay. Um, this is from Omar, the reviewer. He says, "Batman against the Avengers," just to see what his, uh, what his contingency plan would be. Um, for Batman against them. Well, there's a difference As... between a contingency plan and Batman versus so, all yeah, the Avengers. So yeah, basically, this is like Batman if once he's had time to study the event, and if he takes them out one by one. Yeah, because so that's are the only we way. So we going to go over Batman's out. contingency plan but for each of the Avengers. Which, which Avengers team are we going for firstly? Let's, right. let's... let's say M. Well, let's say the MCU Avengers team, but it's the comics. Okay, but yeah, which MCU Avengers, Avengers team? So, MCU Avengers in Avengers from Age of Ultron. Avengers Assemble. Evil. Oh, assemble. Okay. So oh, we, fuck that. Just Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America. The only one Batman would struggle with is probably Hulk. Like, yeah, um, true. If, you, if Batman's had a like a plan, because you know he beat the Justice oh, League with in like Justice League Doom and yeah. Tower of Babel, I reckon he. Could but he didn't plan. in in Tower of Babel. Um, that Batman didn't actually execute that though. I feel like if he had to do them all. In the in a close amount of time, um, 
I said do them all. I mean, take them all out. Um, you you wouldn't be able to do it. In that, sto- in that story, it's a group of villains who do it and they each take out one each. If it was one person taking out all these people at the same time, um, one person being Batman, um, he wouldn't he wouldn't be able to do it. And I think the same goes with the Avengers. The Avengers are weaker than the Justice League, just inherently. Cause well, yeah. I mean, Justice League has work. a lot of, like, god-level power. Exactly. Um, uh, but... Yeah, no, I think Batman gets crushed by the Hulk. Like, no matter yeah, what, it's... I think he gets like, crushed what, by what, Thor what, as well. So, what what would his contingency be for these characters? Cap, you just say Bucky, and he and he freezes. Oh, Bucky, and then you, and then, then you blow yourself up. Easy. <laughs> yeah. you say Bucky, then you blow yourself up. Um, um, Iron Man, you just like goaded him into leaving his suit. <laughs> no, not even that. You Iron just, Man, you give him you a bottle of whiskey. Ego. Oh damn! That's it. Oh damn! Done. He slips into um, depression. Hawkeye, Black you just blunt Black Widow his arrows. Hawkeye. Yeah, he would Black just sleep with Black Widow. Easy. Um, they will just like make out. Oh shit! Oh, I, I wish... think I think Black Widow would be a little bit more difficult for him than either she Iron is Man or Captain America because she yeah, would because... be knowing that he's trying to form mm. a contingency plan. But I think he'd just beat her up. Honestly, I think he'd just beat her up. Yeah, but... when it came down to it, he'd just say, "Right, I'm just going to do a one-on-one fight." Yeah, um, she'd lose Thor... it. He'd probably have to find a way to get him stuck in Asgard. I, I was going to say Batman would probably have to find a way to Asgard, and I can't see any way of that happening. Well, what would he <laughs> then do in Asgard? Well, let, let's say this is a contingency plan. Let's say Thor Slaughter is on people. Asgard. You know, he what? Let's Blow say that Thor, Thor knows that. Um... Oh, what are you saying? Cause Ragnarok? That'd be funny. No, no, no. Well, I'm saying oh. if Thor knows that Batman's going around killing the Avengers, he's going to go back up to uh, Asgard, isn't he? No, so he'd probably Batman hunt gonna... down Batman. Maybe I don't see. But I think that... cause cause Ragnarok while Thor is asleep. Actually, no. Hold on. Um, I don't know how I forgot this. In Ragnarok, the little thing on Thor's neck, Batman could easily have one of those. Oh, the thing that zaps him. Yeah, just paralyzes yeah, him. That's fair enough. Um, so... And then the Hulk is the biggest issue though, because he in in the, if we're talking about MCU, which we are. Yeah. Um, he tries to kill. He tried to kill himself, and he it couldn't. Like, he tried to shoot himself in the mouth. I think what he would do is he would take Banner he while he was sleeping and just drug him. But would Batman work? just hide until? It just depends like, on the rules of when he changes. If how quickly he can change into the Hulk, basically. Yeah, I reckon Batman would hide until Hulk calms down and then snap okay. his neck. Either way, I no, think, I don't I think was... that would work. He'd turn back I into think... the Hulk if he snapped Banner's yeah. neck. Yeah. I, think no, I don't think the there's time, any way of killing Banner. I think you've just got to like keep him drugged. By the time he got to um, like past two people in the team, he'd he'd be found out. And, yeah, and, um, yeah. I'd say Avengers as a collective night. could take him down. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'll say Avengers. He'll probably have like a nightfall effect, and Batman would just get tired over time, and then eventually get beat. Yeah, one and by plus, one, he could probably kill them all, but possibly. Um, not not all of them at once. No way. Yep. Yep. Uh, we're all going for Avengers. Yeah. Uh, That's an interesting one, up. though. That another one of mine. Okay. Lobo. Right. Hey. Versus the Hulk. Didn't Lobo basically went toe to toe with Superman? Yeah, but I this would just be a slug match of who can take more hits, and oh. I actually think I think I think it's Hulk. But. Lobo can just take him into space. Lobo can breathe in space. Hulk can't. Yes, yeah, he can grab, chain him. But, no, he can't. Spike. Yes, he can. Prove it. I don't read the first few pages of World War Hulk. Oh, He's literally okay. standing on top of a plate spaceship. He goes to the moon. You know, he jumps yeah. down onto the moon and kills Black Bolt. Well, doesn't kill him. <laughs> but, yeah. Isn't Black Bolt meant to be like really, really powerful, even if he speaks? Yeah, he just screams. Same a lot. as Red Hulk uh, can breathe in space. That's how he held Thor's hammer. Oh, damn. Okay. So, yeah, Hulk can breathe in space. Okay, well then, yeah, Hulk. Yeah, I'm going to be Hulk. Because he'd just get madder and madder until... Exactly. Mar- I think it would be pretty close for a long time. Like, yeah. it, it'd last a while. It comes down to Hulk has increasing strength where Lobo doesn't. Lobo just has a constant mm-hmm. strength. Um, so, last one from my girl. Um, Flash versus Doctor Doom. Barry Allen Flash. Doctor Doom. Yeah, I, when she suggested this to me, I was like, "You realise Doctor Doom would have him in a second And she was like, "Oh, okay." And I was like, "We're just gonna do it anyway. We we'll just we we'll just talk about it, discuss it on the podcast." But... I mean, so many people use the cop out of, "Oh, if Batman had enough preparation time, 
If Doctor Doom had enough preparation time, he could kill Batman. Doctor Doom care. doesn't need the preparation exactly. time. He has, he has almost amazing a technology and he's got magic sorcery. I mean, like you see this in Infamous Iron Man, basically, don't you? Mm-hmm. How powerful Doom is. I mean, Doom has been a god the same amount of times that Thanos has been, and he's only human. So, exactly. I, I genuinely think that Doom could beat pretty much Doom, anyone Doom, in both yeah. the Marvel and DC universe. Yep, I agree. Doom is OP. And I stand by the fact that he is the best comic book villain. Cool. So, um, yeah, Doom. I don't agree, but I like Doom. Um, anyway, so the undercard to the main event, right? We have one more and then the main event. And this one ties into the main event. Spicy. Alfred Pennyworth versus Wintergreen. Who wins? Now, uh, uh, Harris, I mean, uh, Harry, if you don't know who wins... Winning... I do not. Um, he is essentially Deathstroke's Alfred. Okay. Well, I say that undercard's sick. That's actually a really good idea. Exactly. Who's, whose idea was it? Mine. Oh, that's surprising. Uh, wow. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm I'm going with Wintergreen, not just because of Deathstroke. He is more of a combatant. He is younger than Alfred, um, generally. Um, he, you know, he's still in the action, whereas, you know, Alfred kind of is, but not really. Like, Alfred can hold his own, but he's not... Um, but also, Wintergreen is not against killing like Alfred is. Alfred throws trays at people. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I think, I think Wintergreen goes in... Fucking assassinates um, Alfred while while Deathstroke. They're takes both out very him. very intelligent characters. As well. Yeah, I mean, exactly. They're almost the same character. I think because yeah. of this, what the next fight is going to be, just for this purpose, I'm going to go with Alfred. So I'm going to leave up to Harry. Okay. Well, Harry doesn't know anything about Wintergreen. Well, from Harry. the arguments you've laid out before me, I'm pretty sure that Alfred would actually be beaten by a light wind. So I'm going to go with Wintergreen. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically dust. Yeah, if got, Alfred like, leaves the experience. window open, he'd be killed. So let's just <laughs> leave it at that. Okay, well, is everyone ready then? I'm ready. For the main event. This is what everyone's been waiting for. Including Mr. Us. Rand I'm Comics like versus months. LC Comics. Oh, mate. We, we need to do that at some point. What, fight? Not, not like, yeah, like an actual fight. Right. I'm sorry. Harrison, you record it. I'm bringing a knife. We'll have a... You I'll see him bring bringing a knife? <laughs> That's the natural English way, mate. I Bring taking shame. chances, yeah. Okay, so the main event. Batman versus Deathstroke. You've seen it in the title. Come now, together right now. It's obvious okay. whose side I'm taking. Um, and I think it's also obvious whose side Harrison's taken. So Harry will be the deciding vote. We basically have to try and convince Harry who would win. Now, I'm going to disclose... Um, that the only bias I have is that uh, I might say that Deathstroke loses just to piss off Luke, but I'm going <laughs> yeah. to try and put aside that bias and remain just completely neutral and go by what your arguments tell me, okay? Right, I'm mm-hmm. going to let Luke... Actually, I'm going to let Harrison no, begin. No, no, Luke, I can't Yeah, no, Harrison, no. you're opening. Come on. Oh, Harrison, would you rather let Luke begin? Yeah, Luke. I'm going to let Luke begin then. Let's flip a coin. Now, not as the ref, I'm letting you begin. You because bitch. you were the you were the one who okay. initiated the challenge. I didn't. What this is? All right, I've thrown down you the glove. Fucking bitch! Start <laughs> talking now. So, De- firstly, Deathstroke is physically superior to Batman. Batman is peak physical, peak human physical form. Deathstroke is just above peak physical because he is superhuman. Okay. He um. So he he his abilities he got from a um. He basically he was in the army. And they told him they were testing this new truth serum, um, this new repellent to truth serum, I think. But actually, they were trying to do like a super soldier thing. And they made him, uh, they basically opened up, you know how a normal human uses 10% of their brain? He uses 90%. No, that's not true. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> he uses 90% of his brain all the time. Oh my god, that's um, that such a dumb statistic. <laughs> high, heightened reflexes, uh, heightened strength, speed, stamina. Um, he can think faster, like, um, pretty much time moves slower for him, I guess. Like, he can think faster. He's, so he's very intelligent. He's the number one tactician in the DC universe. Like, number one. Undisputed. He, he, so when it comes to prep time, like, making a plan, he, he'd be better at plan than Batman. Because he is, he's been stated as the number one tactician in the DC universe. He's a, which I agree with as well. 
Okay. He's the he's the number one assassin um, in the DC universe. Uh, he doesn't hesitate ever, unless actually, can I think? Uh, unless it involves his kids, he doesn't hesitate ever. Well, um, he killed his kids, didn't he? <laughs> uh, indirectly. Um, kind Spoilers. of. Spoilers. Anyway. Spoilers. Um, so yeah. Also, I just want to clarify: we are going standard Deathstroke versus standard Batman. So no, yeah, no God Killer Sword for say that. Deathstroke. No um, Hell Bat Armor for Batman. Like just standard Deathstroke versus standard Batman. Um, Deathstroke has stood his own against the Justice League before, um, or a Justice League, um, which included Green Arrow, Hawkman. Um, a elongated man. Well, if, green, you can, uh, if you can hold your own against elongated man and hawk wait, man, then you must be good. Wait, Green Lantern, um, Flash, Wally West Flash. Um, it was Carl Kyle, Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern, uh, Wally West Flash, Black Canary. Uh, who else was there? There was someone else who was like quite powerful. Without I the Killer remember. Blade. Without no, this this was just him. This was just okay. him. He was protecting a villain because he'd been hired to, um, and obviously. He's a contract killer, so that's what he does. Um, you know, he, he, he's faced off against Batman before in the comics um, in his 1990s series, and he left... They fought on the, the edge of a building, and he left uh, Batman um, near death, hanging off a building, basically. Like, half his body was, like, like hanging off the side of the building. Um, and he had barely taken a scratch... Um, obviously he has a healing factor so he can heal um, it's not on the level of like Deadpool's um, so it works slower yeah. but it is very advanced um, you know he, he carries a lot of weapons um, uh, depending on which iteration um, he has I think his standard armor is Promethean, uh, Promethean armor which is like um, not quite on the level of like Adamantium but it's up there okay um, cause that's how I explain it to you. Cause obviously you're a Marvel fan boy. Um, he's also had nth metal armor, uh, at, at one point as well. That's, that's obviously not this, but nth metal is, is like vibranium kind of thing. Um, what else? Well, um, well, let, 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 let Harrison, Harrison have this point yeah. now. Harrison, what do you think about that? Well, Luke's quite the killer with words, eh? Mm. So, um, Deathstroke is basically has a rip-off origin of Captain America. <clears throat> right, so, okay. 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 but why is that, mate? Okay, around Hear me out. <laughs> sure. So, we can say about Deathstroke's strength is about Captain America's, and Batman it's, it's has... More, it's more... It's above Captain America's. And... Yeah, I'll, right. I'll, I'll assume it's just above. <laughs> so, Batman, it has been like a death battle from Screw Attack that Batman can be uh, Captain America. Yeah, so he's got that. He's got really powerful strength. Wait, can I butt in at any point? Uh, uh, feel free to do like, what I can stop you from. Well, I just want to say Deathstroke is a lot smarter than Cap. So, True. like, a lot smarter. Yeah, I was going to say this isn't the only factor in this, but Harrison anyway, yeah, carry on. Now, with Luke's argument about the Justice League, when he fought them, they were kind of the weaker. Well, Green Arrow and Hawkman were quite strong, but it was. Oof. <laughs> Basically, that means I win. Oh, um, no, he. So he outsmarted the Justice League. Let me let me just go back. So he outsmarted the just uh, the Justice League members. Like he he took off um, um, Green Lantern's ring. He he stabbed Flash in the leg. Which imagine that the precision that he had had to get him mid run to stab him in the leg so he couldn't run anymore. Mm. He cut off the tips of um, Green Arrow's arrows so that he couldn't. Um, shoot arrows no so uh, it's a G. they were kind of the weakest so like kyle rayner and wally west were like weaker versions that's true and mm. also batman has taken on the main justice league he's counteracted uh barry allen superman aquaman wonder woman mm -hmm. uh, Hal jordan new 52 was simple his but play. no no carry on Okay. And he's like, even though he had a suit, the gadgets inside the suit were sort of like, not from the suit's power, just sort of things he's put into the suits. And okay. he, he made kryptonite gum, which he used to cripple guys like Superman. Mm -hmm. So he's got quite a craft. He can craft stuff. 
Well, I was going to say, when Batman took out the Justice League, um, that was kind of, a lot of that was indirectly, and a lot of that was, they weren't going after him, but he was going after them. Whereas Deathstroke was literally standing between the leaguers and one of the worst like villains, like an absolute piece of shit. So they wanted his head. Now, I feel like this is going to be the decider. Um, Deathstroke's weakness is that if a plan he, he can get re- if he gets overwhelmed, he goes into a, like a rage, and his pla- when his plans start to break, he's not Ooh. very good at like fixing up. Whereas Batman, if anything goes wrong, he fixes it instantly, and he can always come back. I'm trying to think of the word. See, you can... Is this true? See, the thing is with this, Harrison has used this argument before, and um, in recent comics specifically, it's been proven untrue. Um, where he adapts to situations, for example. Um, yeah, just in... butt in for a second. Yeah, yeah. Feel feel free. Free. But isn't saying that in the same way you couldn't use Deathstroke being in Batman as an excuse because that's from ages ago. Well, no, that, I was just using that as an example. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, just these, saying. These are all factors. These are all factors. Yeah. Um, anyway, as I was saying, in Deathstroke Rebirth, um, basically Superman, uh, there's a thing, I, I, minor spoilers, I'll try not to be spoiling, but basically, um, Superman. Is trying to stop Deathstroke from completing his contract of killing this one guy, um, and to uh, Batman, uh, not Batman. Deathstroke has to adapt to this, um, and in doing so, what he does is he finds a uh, this glow stick, this green glow stick, and uh, and he just gets a bunch of rocks and puts the glow stick shit all over it, so they're like glowing green, and he throws them at Superman, um, and that puts him off enough to um, so obviously he's adapted to the situation. Um, to put him off enough so that he could complete his contract. Um, and I, I feel like that's a good example of how he does actually adapt and change his plans. Um, I think that's just so only like one example. And it's and here's not my example. Example. That, that example shows that he can adapt. It doesn't show that he doesn't ever go into a rage where he, he loses okay. tactics. And so that, that's that's that the thing that is... I'm most concerned about. If he goes into a rage... And then he becomes <laughs> less tactical because he yeah. lets his emotions get the better so of him. He doesn't necessarily go into a rage. He's very arrogant, which is part of which is part of his downfall. Um, so, um, you know, he obviously he doesn't like when things are going wrong. I, I wouldn't say he goes into a rage and like forgets about his plan because that's, you know, that's not a thing. Like that's not a thing that has happened. Like I got from all the things I've read where Deathstroke has. You know, I've I've read most of you know Deathstroke's comics, um, and I'm I fail to think of an example where he has completely lost sight of his plan, like out of rage. Okay. Even with his kids, like I can't. Yeah, he may be. It may put him off a little bit, um, which okay. would possibly give Batman the upper hand. But he wouldn't completely forget. I feel like he could. Cover. Right, and so then... he, here's here's my thing. Do you think Deathstroke's emotions could affect his fighting? Yeah. Yes, I... but I feel like the same with Batman. Like, um, nah, Batman. Right. Okay, always... Harrison, refute that. Refute that. Do you well, think was... that Batman's emotions can be altered? Uh, can alter him in a fight? And Luke, you can refute this. Don't you worry. Mm. Harrison, well, do you think so? But... I mean, you've never really seen Batman lose it unless if Damien or like a Robin gets hurt. Okay. So okay, like, um, I've read like the basically the whole four New Fifty Two run, and the only time he's really lost it when he's drugged or someone gets hurt. Well, something that you've mentioned recently, Justice League Doom. How do they take out Batman? How do they beat Batman? They used his parents. Oh, yeah, All Deathstroke right. has to I do is say, ha ha, your parents are dead, and straight away he's gone. Exactly. I can't Martha. see that happening as Deathstroke gets more. I feel like he would, though. I, th- I feel like if oh. it came down to it and Deathstroke knew he was going to lose, he'd play dirty in order to win, and he would do something like that. I feel like that's not his go to, because obviously he does have, you know, he's a man of one or whatever. But if he had to do something like that, he would, and that would give him the upper hand to then kill Batman, because he wouldn't. He he wouldn't hesitate to kill him, and I just want to say if if they went blow for blow, um, Batman is slightly more skilled when it comes to hand to hand combat. Yeah, than, um, Batman. Deathstroke for Harry. Batman knows every known martial art, and he's a better martial artist. Does Batman so when know it... Klingon? 
Oh my god. Hmm? Does that mean Irrelevant. Have a Klingon? <laughs> there might be. Probably, what if, what if, what if they'd have a Klingon off, you know? God. Um, what, okay, so when it comes to lists of most skilled fighter in the DC universe, Batman normally ranks around fourth, and Deathstroke normally ranks around sixth. Sorry. Um, so that's first, where the. Who, who comes third, did you say? Yeah, who comes first here? Um, oh, so first is, is a character called kid. Karate Kid, Legion of Superheroes. Um, he's irrelevant. Right, got it. Second is Richard Dragon, who's a Green Arrow villain. Okay. Third is Lady Shiva. Oh, no, fourth is, la- third is Lady, Sh- Lady Shiva. Fourth is Bronze Tiger. Fifth is Batman. Okay. And then six or seven is Deathstroke, um, depending on which list. Um, okay, anyway, continue with your point then. And Oof. But Oof, Deathstroke is stronger and faster than Batman. So that gives him the edge. And if they went blow for blow, um, I, uh, like... I feel like Deathstroke would win. So Batman's uh, willpower is like because his will he's got a willpower that rivals a Green Lantern because he's also become Green Lantern in like mm-hmm. Elseworld story and I feel like his willpower will keep him going on like the adrenaline and I feel like he'll fire until he's dead. Sure, and but he... um, Deathstroke can have an unnatural amount of adrenaline and endurance due to his you know s- the the serum that gave him his powers. <sighs> It's right. really tricky because it's it's if it's all up to death. I feel like we've both it... argued quite well. I can tell Harry's. Um... I'm I'm quite torn. I must admit. Yeah. Have either that... of you got any more points? Um... Um, wait, I mean, so, it's just I can't remember how did Death terminated in Terminator. Sorry Pardon? for the pun. Because I remember his healing pack damaged in the Terminator run. Yeah, that that's like that was a, a thing. That was like an alternate. In fact, that adds to my point, actually. Um, so, you know, I mentioned before about when Deathstroke beat uh, Batman in Deathstroke the Terminator. Um, he, his healing factor was like starting. Oh, no, no. It, it, it was, was the start of a storyline where his healing factor was getting fucked up. I so he was actually. Like, the fact it, that uh, Deathstroke has a healing factor isn't playing into who I think will win at all here. Okay, but what I mean is that weakened him a bit and he still beat batman like quite it, heavily it happened uh after the fight like straight after that's when the healing factor side that's failed. when he noticed it yeah but it, it, it clearly happened before that. Like, you've okay. just reminded okay. me of a point though wait one okay. more point yeah that fight was before nightfall and batman didn't go through this extra trick because he got his black suit after nightfall and that's when his training and fight techniques got even better so that was before nightfall so he, he mm-hmm. was a lot weaker the problem with that is the whole continuity thing because all yeah. the reboots and shit. But it's fair the, re- the healing factor and the reboots and all that. Mm-hmm. Do fair. It it would be the closest fight ever. I'll give you that. Right. Very close, but this, I still think Deathstroke. Was. This, I could. This, I would side with Deathstroke at times. But Batman. This, this, when I read the Batman stuff, so. it's a very close fight. I feel, and as someone who doesn't particularly like either of these characters. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> I just want to say the thing the thing that me and Harrison often say when we have this because this is a common thing that we that we argue about um is that it it normally depends on whose book yeah and like whose book it is so as we obviously in Deathstroke Terminator he beats Batman um and obviously as Batman is a more popular character as well the writers win, it, yeah. in a in a less not in the universe sort of sense but in the real world sort of sense the writers are less likely to make Batman lose because he's Batman. You know? I think... But that's, so that's irrelevant to the point. It all that's... comes down to one thing for me. Your mm-hmm. vote. <laughs> and that's... Um... Who would be Iron Fist? <laughs> no. And that's the fact that um, Batman can be triggered by his dead parents. Being triggered. I would feel... Deathstroke get triggered by his dead kids, though? I feel no, he doesn't like... care that much. Oh, what I kind feel of... like if it weren't <laughs> for Luke. that, Batman would be able to manipulate Deathstroke in a way where he could win. Could but... I just say one quick thing? You can. Luke, whoever Harry's pick, could we both agree on that? No. It's like, well, <laughs> if it's not Deathstroke, I'm not agreeing. This whole but... thing's pointless. But the fact... That Why am I here? Deathstroke can sort of negate that and do a similar thing against Batman means that I think Deathstroke would win the majority of times if it came down to Deathstroke versus Batman. 
It's time to pop the champagne, boys. I'm putting that down as the final. I think Deathstroke hey. wins between Batman versus Either Deathstroke. way, it depends on circumstance. Like, I'm not going to say but Deathstroke doesn't win 10 times out of 10. I reckon no way. Deathstroke it's a... wins about 7 times out of 10. I was going to say 6. I think it's even closer than that. But um... I'll say 6.5. Oh damn! So, so now Harris decides that whole whole episode pointless, basically scrap um, it nah. in the bin. Spoiler, no. um, right? Plot twist: I actually vote for Deathstroke. It's, I went for Batman for the video before I read Terminator. I was on Batman. I yeah, I, I think I can, I I also could because I am. If you can't tell, I'm pretty relentless with my opinions, um, <laughs> and I don't shut up. Like if oh, I if I think I'm right, God, then I'm. I'm not gonna lie. For right. someone like me, it's not very good for my words. I felt like I kept up a little. Bit. No, you made a good argument. Well done, sure. Harrison. Um, you can claim your gold you. star on the way out. Captain <laughs> Autism participation. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Harry, did you wanna did you wanna do a trial run? Do you wanna just spring this on Harrison right now, or do we wanna do we wanna finish up here? Well, you know what? Should we just should we just. <sighs> Should we say goodbye and then just do it and then we can just cut it out? Goodbye for another six months. Sure, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, we'll, 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 we'll have it as an end thing and then if it's shit, there's we nothing at the end. Uh, yeah, so uh, anyone got... Oh, wait, plugs. Plugs, plugs, plugs. Shit, I clicked on the email by accident. Tell you what, can I do some plugs? Go ahead. Go right, go right for it. Go ahead and visit Mr. Rand Comics down in the description below. There you will find my YouTube channel, which either will or won't have videos on it, but either way, go ahead and subscribe. And also, please check out the new podcast, which I will be doing, the Ranked List of Everything, which will have both of the other hosts that I've been talking to today on it over the next few episodes, none of which have been released yet, but I'm hoping that by the time this goes up, I will have a couple up. So, you know, that's very fun. Hopefully. Um, so please yeah. go check that out if you liked any of this. Also, keep an eye on... Um myself you, you know lc comics and mr rank comics uh youtube channels we we have done um two videos with each other one for each channel um, they will be out after they I may, my exams <laughs> yes they may be out on the channel now if not they will be soon so keep an eye out for that they will be uh, out at some point we promise you yes um but i was gonna say follow um follow follow the podcast on twitter lc underscore comic corner um and ask us questions, you know, tweet us questions, or email them to lc.comiccorner at gmail.com. Uh, follow me on Twitter at lc underscore comics. Um, and obviously, you can find me on YouTube at lc comics. Uh, Harrison? Um, you wanna, hero, you I, I just kind of lost, you know, my channel's going to be haunted. <laughs> I've lost all faith in YouTube. Um, you know, I forgot my Twitter name. Luke's probably got it up on <laughs> the screen. At Berserk underscore hero. I've given up plugging my Doesn't really as use well, Twitter so, though, so. Yeah, yeah neither message... of you are ever on Twitter. I'm like, oh my God, if you want to so contact shit. You guys on Twitter, just contact me and I'll try and find a way. <laughs> if anyone yeah, wants to uh, comment on my channel or videos, I won't reply because I don't appreciate any of you. Um... <laughs> wow. Can I plug Wait, this podcast audience. as well? Because I feel like this episode actually went quite well. Also. Yeah, but... I mean. Can I recommend a book for everyone? No. Sure. Unless Batman... it's shit, then no. Batman Under the Red Hood. Go check it. Yeah, okay. no, you can't recommend it. Yeah, sorry. don't do that. Yeah, uh, yeah that's... <laughs> right, that's Luke, just, do that's your infinite that. number of plays. Wait, wait, let me, um, let me, let me say... Can I... Let's just say... Um... One hour later. <laughs> the Valiant! Now, what you do, <laughs> Harry, when you edit this, <sighs> is put that over what Harrison said. Oh, wait, am I editing recommend this? A book? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't bring know it out on me. All right, that's cool. Um, but yes, so watch my videos. Affiliate wordery affiliate link in the description. Also, I have a pop in the box link. Get twenty percent off if you use pop in the box. I've got to plug my shit because that's what I do. Because I'm a cheapskate, mate. Have anyway, I want to thank everyone for listening. You're um, we're back. Hopefully, back I don't know how baby. often we're going to be releasing episodes, but we're going to try as often as we can. I think we're going to try for bi-weekly. I think that's I think what yeah. that's reasonable. For, you know? I need to recover. I yeah, mean, we we obviously we can't do weekly because we do like three episodes and then we drop off for like yeah, <laughs> months. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, right. thank thank you everyone for watching. Um, and also, if you have different opinions to us on these verses, let us know. Absolutely. Hey guys, I got a question: Who would win, Red Hood, Iron Fist, or Deathstroke? Death Iron Fist would. Well, Iron Death Fist Stroke. would die first, but you know, oh, mate. Would... 
Iron Fist just, would just get his head cut right. I think off. we all know that Red Hood would just lose, so that's fine. Yeah, Red Hood's Red, Red Hood's, Hood's gone. gone. Red no Hood's not first there. Oh come on! And I, 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 Iron Fist and Deathstroke could battle it out for a bit, but I think when it came down to it, Iron Fist is more enhanced. Okay, but Deathstroke has. Oh, that's something I didn't even bring up. He has his um ion ion blasting blaster thing. I can't remember what's uh, called. Ion blasting blaster. I, I can't remember what it's called.